What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel, it is Akevlos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Mass Effect 2 here on the channel. So as usual folks, if you're going to enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like on this video as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below. I'll be super grateful and appreciative of your support here on the channel. And with that being said, let's get back into it. So, um, here we are in Mass Effect 2, or more specifically on Omega, the asteroid of Omega. Um, Alright. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna act, we're actually in the midst of, uh, yeah, yeah, I hear it, I hear you, Jesus, that guy's, that guy's a loony, so, um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we're actually here, uh, in the midst of, uh, Samara's loyalty quest, so, um, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and continue it, so, if you were, just a quick recap from the previous episode, um, we are here on, we are here on Omega, to, uh, we, we arrived on Omega, spoke to Arya, uh, picked up Samara's loyalty quest, and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna continue the second half of it, so, um, Okay, I think at this point, I probably should take the time, probably should take uh, a couple of minutes, if you could just uh, spare me a couple of minutes to, um, well, to give you, to, 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 to guide you a bit, uh, a bit of an explanation. So, um, I know for those of you who have played Mass Effect 2, this might be a bit boring, so feel free to skip ahead. But uh, if you're new to the if you're new to the if you're new to the series in general, um, you might want to take note of you might want to take note of this bit. That's because uh, they could have some major implications in your playthrough. So, um, pretty much at this point, um, you get you see the Samara's loyalty quest. Is, what in the world? Oh, I didn't know you could get. I, I didn't I actually didn't know you could get down here. Um, all right. So anyway, uh, all right. As I was saying, enough enough fooling around. Okay. So Samara's loyalty quest is unique. Uh, that that's because uh, along with Thanes, I believe Samara and Thanes uh, loyalty quests are the only two that you can fail in the game. Honestly, um, the others you can't really fail. You're gonna secure the other squad mates' loyalty regardless uh, of the of the outcome of the mission. But Samara and Thanes, you can actually fail if you don't complete it right. And another thing that's unique is that. Um, Samara's quest is what is the is actually one um, one of the only quests that you can actually have her die on a loyalty quest. So, um, Samara, Samara, so Samara's quest and Zaid's quest actually these are these two quests are the ones that you can uh, that um, the squad the the corresponding squad mate actually dies. And Samara and Tain's quest are the are the only two loyalty quests where you could actually fail. Their loyalty quest which means you're not going to secure their loyalty so um you might want so for the for, for some reason uh if you want if you're if, if you're playing if you want a very good playthrough like what i'm aiming for here you want a perfect playthrough you might want to take some notes because samara's quest you might you, you have to be very attentive you have to be very focused in order to do it so um i know what i'm doing but for those of you who are well, potentially new to the series and you're playing mass effect 2 for the first time or you're playing mass effect legendary edition and you've come to this point um, you might want to take some notes that's because uh, there there's some very specific criteria that you have to meet in order to pass it so uh, well I say pass it and meaning uh, secure Samara's loyalty so um, yeah you might want to take some notes that's all I'm gonna say anyway um, if you to start it up we're just gonna head on over to this bouncy here and speak to him regarding entering this VIP section which uh, which is where we have to go what do you want what's behind this door VIP section of the club for those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Fair enough. go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. 
hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Alright, <clears throat> so uh, basically, uh, yeah, Samara has given us some last minute hip, uh, hints. Okay, so um, a couple of things to note is that, um, yeah, first of all, this this is an exclusive area. So once you enter, um, can, I believe you can head back out and you can speak to Samara just for more, um, more well, a reminder of what... Um, of what you're supposed to do but uh you can you once you once you complete this quest this com uh segment this complete uh, this mission um you can't get back here anymore so um pretty much he says that we have to go and try to attract morin so basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go ahead uh, we're gonna be presented with a couple of situations inside um i believe there are five in total um you only need three of it to, you need to successfully complete three of it um so uh, once you complete all three you're gonna uh, able to, you're gonna be able to um, attract more and uh, if you don't basically what happens is you'll fail the mission and uh you will lose samara's loyalty um so basically yeah there's something you might want to note if you want to get a perfect playthrough uh which means uh, you're gonna want samara loyal okay so in order to complete it um, what you're gonna have to do is um i know what are the activities that i'm gonna do the usual active uh, there's actually four activities that i usually uh, like to do but um of course you only need three so i'm gonna go with the three that i like the most uh, you guys who are at home uh watching you can definitely play along or um yeah if for uh, those of you who actually know what to do already just uh, you can just follow along maybe learn something so um, let's just head through this door um okay so the first person here is this bitch fellow um i usually don't speak to him that's because um i'm not so sure if there is uh, if uh if it's uh if if uh, well if there are any direct impacts of um of of uh being uh, being a dick to him being a jerk to him so i usually just ignore him entirely so another option here is this Horfton fellow here. These these two are the ones that I usually skip. I always go straight for this guy over here. His name is Mel. Uh, he's a Turin who's harassing this dancer here. Um, if you're playing as a female shepherd as well, there's actually a unique piece of dialogue. So um, yeah, we are playing as a female shepherd. So let's go ahead and uh, go and trigger it. Uh, start it up. Come on, babe. Don't be like that. I got crabs. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Whoa! Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that was a little bit of a unique piece of dialogue there. Um, if you well, if you've played the game, if you played this game as many times as I have, you'll know the difference when, when you come when, when you when you enter this building with a male shepherd. So uh, with a male character. So uh, yeah, it's uh, just you just have to take my word for it. Okay. Um, another thing that I like to do is, and uh, well, in other playthroughs, is to actually go speak to these tutorials right here. Um, you might want to speak to these tutorials if, let's say, you have a low Paragon or Renegade score. But um, since I have a fairly decent one, I'm gonna take the much more difficult option, which is to go and uh, insult this Krogan and speak to this bartender. So let's go ahead and speak to the Krogan first. Oh, are you still here? I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. All right. So as I said, if you have a low Renegade score, you might not want to go for this. That's because uh, you're, you're going to be forced to take um, the regular the regular dialogue, which is uh, it's actually going to turn Morinth off. So if you have a high Renegade score, definitely go for this. We back that up. We go out to the alley. Only one of us comes back in. I'm 
just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. Damn humans. Alright. So another thing that you want to do is you can go and speak to this bartender. Um, he's uh, he's gonna be he's gonna offer you a Paragon route. So for those of you who are playing a specific Paragon or Renegade option, um, you might want to go with the you might want to intimidate the Krogan or uh, if you're going Renegade, and you might want to speak to the bartender if you're going Paragon. But since I have a decent amount uh, in both bars, I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for this one as well. What do you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? All right, so here we are. This is Morant and uh, yeah, we've uh, got her interest. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to speak to her. Uh, so your choice of words here is very, very important. That's because uh, if you say if you say things that sound too cheesy, too cringy, uh, well, like too, how do I say it? Too white knighty, I, I, I guess, uh, like too, too heroic. It's gonna make you seem like uh, kind of. Uh, Kind of a generic, uh, a generic hero. Uh, she's not gonna like that. So you're gonna have to go a bit more aggressive, a bit more, um, a bit more dominant, I should say. I don't know how to describe it. Um, all right. So we're gonna go with mostly renegade options here. I know what I like. Do you? All right. So don't. Uh, so like, uh, like what we've this, like what we've got from Samara earlier. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I just want to give you guys a, a hint and basically a bit of a guide on what to do here. So. Um, stay away from stuff like just the cars and family, obviously. Um, I usually like to start with uh, music, art, and travel. Um, well, basically, you have to go. So you, ha you have to speak on these three, these, these three options, at, uh, regardless. So, um, let's go ahead and start with um, travel. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Let's go with this. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. If you're the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true. Among children. Whoever wants it the most is willing to do anything for it has the power. Are you willing to do anything for it? I haven't decided yet. Now you're toying with me. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Everything I hear has something good about it. I see you're a woman of strong opinions. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Alex? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. All right. So we have successfully uh, we have successfully um well guard guarded I gathered the interests of Morin. So, um, all right. At this point, um, yeah. Uh, there's actually, well, to be honest with you, that conversation could have went much better. Um, I believe I've actually, like I said, I've actually played this game a couple of times, and I've actually done a conversation which, uh, 
well, which is much more direct. I thought I should try to mix things up a bit, experiment a bit, uh, probably go for... Um, you might have noticed that I went for a couple of top left, uh, top, yeah, top left options. Um, normally, I go for the bottom left, that's uh, strictly Renegade. But um, yeah, I went for a couple of top left, just to experiment here and there. But uh, yeah, you for the most part, you want to try to stick to the left-hand side of the wheel, not the right-hand side. Just a, a quick note on how to remember things. So um, anyway, here we are in Morin's apartment. Um, what we can do is we can investigate a couple of things. Uh, there's usually nothing There's usually nothing of note to investigate. Uh, stuff like this chest set, uh, it basically just gets a talking. I'm just going to do a couple and then we're going to advance ahead. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Alright, let's check out the statue. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't All right. he hoped. Okay, so uh, you don't want to miss this. There's an assault rifle that you can scan here, actually. There you go, that's assault rifle damage. That's good. Okay, so um, let's check out the sword. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. <laughs> Damn, you're cold. <laughs> let's go to pill bottle. Um, I believe this is a drug. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Damn. Um, uh, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna speak to Morant. Um, now at this point there's actually a major spoiler. Um, uh, I'm not gonna, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna reveal anything yet. Um, let's just speak to her and I'll address you later. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me! Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this, so I must die. You are a disease to be purged, nothing more. I'm as strong as she is, let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Alright, at this point you're gonna have a decision to make. So you can either kill Morin for kill Samara. So, um, yeah, just I just wanna jump in here and say that, uh, well, normally what I do, the right thing to do is to actually kill Morin. I know some of you might kill Samara, um, well, but, uh, personally what I like to do is I like to kill Morin. That's because, uh, you, you can actually, there's a reason for that. You actually meet Samara later on in Mass Effect 3. Um, you meet Morin as well, but, uh, Samara features more prominently and Morin is more of a, a side character. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with killing Morinth. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. 
all right uh, okay we're gonna go but uh, for those of you who are not willing who well who want to explore this place a bit you might want to take your chance uh, probably pick up that um, assault rifle upgrade earlier I showed you if not uh, once you leave there's no way to come back here so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and leave since I already grabbed it already let's go Okay guys, we're back and as you can see we have received a shit ton of credits as well as a lot of Paragon points. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the, those, area that, those areas that we've been, uh, we were previously at are now sealed off. You can't even get back into the VIP section. So, um, if you want to explore it, uh, well, Samara's mission was probably your only chance. But for the most part, we are done with it now. Everything has been locked off. And we have secured the loyalty of Samara in the process. So, um, pretty much uh, at that option there, you had the option to kill Samara. So if you kill Samara, what happens is Morant is gonna take her place, and she is gonna be um, well, she's gonna pretend to be Samara. But uh, yeah, um, it's it's uh, there, there's actually not really much. Not, there's not much repercussions from this. But uh, yeah, I just thought I should let you know of what happens uh, when you select the option to kill Samara over there. So, um, pretty much that. Um, I guess we're gonna wrap things up here because we are running out of time. Uh, we're gonna take a look at all the side quests here on Omega in the next episode as well as a couple of the side quests in Around the Galaxy. We'll see how does that go. But for the most part, we're gonna end the video here because we are running out of time. So if you enjoyed this episode of uh, Mass Effect 2, folks, as usual, please be sure to leave a like in this video as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below. I'll be super grateful and appreciative of your support here on the channel. And that being said, this is Kevlo signing off and I hope to see you in the next one, folks. Peace.